our first topic sa pointers natin for this third quarter exam is finding the slope of a line and here we have a formula that we derive from getting the definition of the slope which is the ratio of the rise to the run so m uh, which is the slope is equal to y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2 it's not really hard to memorize this one sa taas yung y sa baba yung x and here we have an example find the slope of a line that touches negative 3 and negative 2 so we will go to muna ito and then let's try to answer our first example the hardest part of solving a um, slope of a line is to identify which um, is the y sub 1, the y sub 2, the x sub 1, and the x sub 2. So in our case, we have here negative 3 and 2 as the first point, and we also have 1 and negative 2 as our second point. Tandaan po natin that this is always x. The first coordinate is always the x. The second coordinate is the y. This is also x and this is also y. So choose between negative 3 and 2 and 1, negative 2. Whichever you want to be the first point, edi assign 1 there. Kung ito yung gusto yung maging second point, edi assign 2 on the subscript. So in this case, my x sub 1 is negative 3, y sub 1 is 2, x sub 2 is 1 y sub 2 is negative 2. So, if kung matatandaan yung formula natin that the slope, which is m, is equal to y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2, all we have to do is copy everything na meron tayo. Let's start with y sub 1. That's 2. Okay? We copy the subtraction sign here, and then y sub 2 is negative 2. Okay, you have to be careful with this one, huh? We need to first copy the negative sign, and then whatever y sub 2 is, we copy it after it. The fraction bar, and then x sub 1 is negative 3. We also have here a negative sign, so kailangan copyin ulit natin yon. And then lastly is the x sub 2, which is 1. Okay, so kung kukunin natin tong equation na ito, sorry, this expression, 2 minus negative 2, and negative 3 minus 1, gawin muna natin tong valid operation. So instead of having 2 minus minus 2, we will do a 2 plus 2 on the numerator and a negative 3, negative 3, sorry, negative 1 on the denominator. Again, we're looking for the slope. And then, I'm trying to simplify this one, 2 plus 2 is 4 positive 4, negative 3, and negative 1 is negative 4 po. Both are negatives, so ang final answer lapat natin dito is negative then. So what happened is, parang umutang tayo ng tatlo, tas umutang ulit tayo ng isa. We got 4 na utang, so it's negative 4. Okay, and then kailangan pa natin itong simplify. Correct na to actually, kaya lang our answer should always be in simplest form. So, the final answer here, when 4 is divided by negative 4, it's negative 1. So, the slope of this line is negative 1. That is our final answer. Okay? Let's try to have another example. Um, as our second example, we have here, find the slope of the line that touches 2, 3, and 6, 2. Okay? Erase muna to. Wait lang. So, first things first, copy the information that you have. In our case, we have 2, 3, and 6, 2. Okay? Um, assign your variables. Again, m is equal to y sub 1 over y sub, minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2. Assign muna natin. Let's make this one x and y. 
X and Y para hindi tayo malito. Ano po? So, I want this to be the first point. So, ang gagawin ko is maglalagay ako ng sub 1 and sub 2. Okay? And the next part will not be, will not be very complicated kasi we just need to substitute the values on this formula. So, when looking for M, we have to assign what Y sub 1 is. And in our case, we have 3. We should copy the negative sign here. Diyan mostly nagkakamali yung mga bata. And then, we have here a Y sub 2 which is 2. Fraction bar and then X sub 1 is 2. Copy the subtraction sign here. X sub 2 is 6. There's nothing to uh, complicate on this one. Wala na talagang ma ma komplikado dito. Just not, not like the, the first example. So, we have to operate na lang. 3 minus 2 here is positive 1 over 2 minus 6 which is negative 4. And as a final answer, we have here negative 1 fourth. Okay? So, magbibigay lang ako dito na konting mga... Reminders. Kasi usually, nagkakamali yung bata sa ganito. Okay? So, yung 3 dito has a positive sign. Yung 2 naman dito has a positive sign. Yung 2 got a negative sign and yung 6 has a negative sign here. So, kung mapapansin nyo, lagi na naman natin itong ginagawa. If we have a positive and a negative, so they are or they have opposite signs. What we usually do on this case is we subtract the two numbers. So, we have here 3 minus 2. That's one, hindi ko na kailangang sabihin. Kaya lang, we have to think which is higher, 3 or 2. And in this case, mas mataas yung 3 as a numerical uh, value. And since ang sign ng 3 is positive, we take that sign as the sign for our answer. 3 minus 2 is 1. The sign of the bigger number, which is 3, is positive. Meaning, ang sagot dapat natin is positive. On the other hand, the denominator naman, it's 2 minus 6. Positive and a negative. Two different signs. What we need to do is, sub is to subtract. And on subtracting 2 and 6, we have 4. Kaya lang, again, think, which is bigger, 2 or 6? Mas malaki yung 6. That's why we need to take and copy whatever sign the 6 has. In this case, we have a negative. Kaya po, naging negative yung sign ng negative, ng 4 dito rather. And as a final answer, we have here negative 1 4. That is our slope. And as a last, <coughs> sorry, again, common mistake na ginagawa dito ng mga bata is that on this particular example, they are assigning uh, the coordinates incorrectly. Ang ginagawa nila is x, x, and then y, and y. So, ang gagawin nila, ito yung x sub 1, x sub 1, sorry, x sub 2 pala, and then y sub 1, and then y sub 2. This is wrong. Okay? Although, kahit pa ulit-ulit na natin na discuss there are some students na um, na, 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 na nagko-commit pa rin ng mga ganitong incorrect uh, procedures, although nakikita ko naman yung iba na tututo. But the correct one is x, y, x, y. This could be the first point. Therefore, that's x sub 1 and y sub 1. And this could be the second point, x sub 2 and y sub 2. Pero, if, if you would think differently, um, you'll assign this as x and y, x and y, and then, sometimes, some students, ang nakikita ko, ito yung kanilang x sub 2, ito yung kanilang y sub 2, x sub 1, and y sub 1. Whichever, between these two, um, x, y coordinate yung inyong sundin, you'll never go wrong. You'll get the same answer, negative 1 4. As long as you use the formula, and you you don't get confused with the negative sign here na kailangan nyo siyang kopyahin and then whatever is y sub 2 and x sub 2 copy it on 
your solution, you'll never go wrong. For questions, approach me na lang or yeah.